Hey everyone, this is a bonus mentorship and I wanted to announce it, but I couldn't announce it because I had to wait until I was ready to deliver this. So typically my workflow is I get inspired and I wanna share it right away. But about a week ago, I got inspired at like maybe 11 at night and I stayed up until like 2 a.m. to create my DMO, so my daily method of operations, the tasks that I do daily. And this was really inspired by the compound effect that I've talked about before. I think it was actually in the last mentorship. And the compound effect is really the secret sauce for life and for business. So if you haven't already listened to that mentorship, make sure that you do um, or and or look up um, The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. He wrote a book on it. I think there's probably some YouTube videos on it, but basically the idea is it's not about, you know, doing tons of work, you know, one day and then not doing anything for a week or two later or having like a huge week and then not doing anything for weeks after that because we're all capable of like really getting ourselves riled up and going to town to do the tasks that we know that will make a difference for our life goals, for our business goals. This is applicable whether it's like working out or whether it's like, like probably your business is actually really simple, um, but it's the tasks that sometimes seem mundane or repetitive or we avoid them because we're probably actually scared or not as confident as we want to be even though we don't necessarily want to admit it or we have like this different thought processes that stop us from taking action, okay? So the compound effect is really about doing simple things every single day or let's say at least five days a week but I'm actually doing them daily, that will, you're kind of working backwards. So you know where you want to go and then you, you look, you break it down to what are the tasks that if I did them on repeat day after day, what would the big results be, okay? So let's just talk about the working out example just for a second, just because I know this is a business group, but because it's so easy to understand. So we all can say, okay, we're gonna go to the gym um, you know, and we got a gym membership and you go for a few days and you don't go for a month. Well, obviously the results don't work. But if you were to do a simple workout at home that was maybe 10 minutes, you would have far better results than if you went to the gym once or twice a week. And this whole time, you're actually probably wasting all kinds of energy thinking, I should go to the gym, I really should go to the gym, and like those shoulds are just the worst, right? So instead of shooting yourself to death, you know, you're actually taking action, those small baby steps every single day. They're the easiest things to do, like super duper, like doable tasks, but they're probably also the easiest things not to do, where you're like, okay, I'll just wait until next tomorrow, or I'm tired, or, but you know that you can actually, you can find 10 minutes to get that workout in. So I'm gonna go through my DMO. So you guys, I actually have a business partner named Krista K. So if, um, hopefully Krista sees this. If, if anyone who knows Krista, tag her in this video so she sees this. So she actually challenged me not to share this with you guys until I had a few days under my belt, okay? Because I, that's definitely one of my downfalls. I'll get excited, like, I'm highly like inspired, like easily inspired, and I get excited about things. So instead of just like sharing my DMO as soon as I was excited to share it, I actually had to get five days under my belt. So here we go. So I created this using Canva, so canva.com. So you'll see it says 30 day DMO. So, and then here are 30 diamonds, okay? And you get to color them in, okay? So if anyone wants this, I actually want to develop uh, one that you guys can actually customize for yourself. If you like it, just comment below. So then on the, the ta on the side here are all of the tasks that I need to do on a daily basis. And I can't color in the diamond until I've finished all of those tasks, okay? So I'm gonna go through what my tasks are to give you some inspiration. And I also wanna talk to you about where I was surprisingly really resistant. Um, and like the resistance was so bizarre and just like so silly, but I'm thinking you guys might be able to relate because it's like 
really not that big of a deal, but I would put it off to the end and it was like just all of this internal resistance for no reason. And then actually doing it, it felt, I felt like a freaking like superhero because I, I did the things that I had the most resistance to. So I want to go through this with you guys. Um, I see Renee here. I see a bunch of you guys here. Thank you for being here, you guys. Um, and definitely let me know if you're listening to the recording because I am so, so pumped to share this with you guys. Like, I feel like I've cracked the code. I basically feel like I have cracked the code on life and in success and in actual longevity. And I actually have something that is tangible. Like, I even bought this pretty clipboard this tangible that I can pass on to you guys for you to also duplicate in your life, okay? So this is, again, inspired from the compound effect. So I'm gonna go through the, my boys are coming home, so it might get a little bit noisy. So the very first thing on my task, and I'm, I'm, I'm challenging myself to do these things in order, ideally, okay? So ideally, I'm doing them in order, and it's funny that I, I didn't necessarily plan this, but the things that I might avoid, are further are further on the list. So I have to get through everything and then and then and then I can color in my diamond. Please excuse the yappy dog. Okay. So the very first thing on my list is I have to spend or I get to spend two minutes. So all of these numbers are like the non-negotiable bare bare minimum. So if I want to spend 10 minutes on this task that is fine and dandy, but if I do, I still have to do two minutes the next day. Shh, oh my God, so annoying. Um, so two minutes each day. So that's what I have to keep in mind, that if I'm wanting to spend like a half an hour going through this, that's great, but there's still two minutes that have to happen each day. So it's not about like go hard one day and then not do anything for the following days. This is the whole point of this whole system. So two minutes a day, I get to just, I can be sipping on my tea and just going through my vision book. So my vision book is like a vision board, but it's in a book form, so it's portable, and I can just literally flip through this and just be reminded of what my vision is for this year, what my goals are, what I wanna create, what I wanna attract, what I wanna be aligned to, okay? And it's really interesting that I, you would think that I know this by now because I've been using this for a few months already, but it's, it's interesting what actually sticks out each day. Like even I have this quote here from Wayne Dyer, but like the words are, are coming to life in a different way each day. Like it's really interesting. So I just simply, there's nothing to do other than just flip through this book and to be reminded of what I'm creating, okay? So that's the very first task. If you don't have a vision book, I highly recommend it, um, or a vision board, but something that you're doing right away to program your mind of what you're creating that day. I don't think there's really a point in really even going about your work day unless you really are connected to what you're creating and why you're creating it, the emotion behind what you're creating, okay? So then the next thing on my task, task list here is 10 minutes of meditation. Okay, so again, there are 30 minute meditations. I don't mind meditating. It's something that's not necessarily challenging for me, but again, 10 minutes. This is like, this is the bare bones minimum. So even if it's a busy morning or even if things are just not going as planned, I can still find 10 minutes to meditate. If I don't have my phone with me, I, I can't do a guided meditation, close my eyes and just literally connect to my breath. That's it, I can do that, okay? So think about how these things are adding up over these 30 days of me coloring these diamonds. So I'm on day five right now. Imagine what the effects would be from just simply going through my vision book each day for 30 days. So not rather than doing it every few days or whenever I remember, but actually very intentionally going through it. The 10 minute meditation. Next on the list is a 10 minute workout. Again, I could totally go for an hour class or something, but a 10 minute workout. I've been currently doing this like ab challenge that's on YouTube, super easy. And then I'll kind of like throw that in with maybe like a walk around the block or something like very easy stuff, right? But what I'm finding is I'm working out way more if I actually add it up than, than typically, which I would do like maybe one half hour workout like a week sometimes, right? 
So this is keeping me super accountable. And actually what's happening is I'm craving more. I'm like, oh, I want, I want to do an extra five minutes or I want to do an extra 10 minutes. And it's adding up. The results are in my body. I feel stronger and it's feeling really, really good. This is five days in, you guys. Okay, so the next thing on my task list. This one here is where I wouldn't say it's tricky, but it definitely takes more of a concentrated effort. This is three new conversations, okay? So there is no motive behind this. It's just simply me actually getting to know three people better, okay? So there's a lot of people on Facebook and Instagram that I don't know personally. So uh, for example, today, I, I someone I was just going through my um, Facebook news feed and I was like, oh, who is this wonderful woman? Oh my God, she is like a fitness buff, super inspiring. So I simply sent her a message and said, hey, I'm not even sure how or when we got connected, but you're really inspiring and I'd love to know more about what you're up to these days and getting, I'd love to get to know you better, right? So three new conversations a day. This can happen, me at the park with the boys, you know, it's actually saying hello to another mom, but like three new conversations. This is about expanding my network, okay? So expanding your network might be something that you wanna do, Probably whatever business that you're in, expanding your network is a good thing to do. Even if you're not in business, probably a good thing to open up our mouths and say hi to people. All right, so the next thing on my list, my task list here is three follow-ups. So I am in network marketing, so follow for the fortune is in the follow-up, and that probably goes for most businesses, I would imagine. Let me know if that is applicable to your business or even your profession if there is value in following up with people to see how they're doing, to see how they like the product, to see how just like how things are going in their life, to see just what's going on, right? So three follow-ups I do daily. The next thing on my list, and I put this about halfway down because it's the easiest thing for me to do and the thing that I can definitely get lost in, and that is one Instagram post per day just one, one quality intentional Instagram post per day, which also is published on Facebook, my Facebook business page. So that's easy, it's important, it's non-negotiable, but I typically would have done that before the workout or before the meditation. So now I do all those things first. Next on my list is one specific post for my Love Your Bod group. This is a self-love wellness group for women, so I post in there. And I also am dedicated to posting once in this group um, a business tip. So anything that is on my mind about that I wanna share with you guys, so build your biz tip, you'll find it here every single day according to this chart. <laughs> so the next thing on my list might be interesting for you, something that I've never really focused too much on is LinkedIn. So right now, I'm dedicated to showing up at least once a day on LinkedIn. So one LinkedIn post. And this was definitely something that I needed to hold myself accountable to because it typically my LinkedIn emails that would show up, I would just delete them immediately. Like I wouldn't even think about going on LinkedIn. So now I'm showing up in LinkedIn once a day. Gary V says that that is an absolutely non-negotiable part of our um, job right now as marketers because it's really, it's having a resurgence LinkedIn. So you wanna make sure that you're not like, you know, slow to catch up with that process. So just showing up right now is what I'm doing once a day. Next thing on my list is one invite each day to an event that's going on by my local team. Easy enough, but also super easy not to do, and then it's the day before the event or the day of the event and I haven't invited anyone. So even if I'm inviting people and they can't come, this is still a win because I'm getting conversations going, okay? So one invite a day, super actionable, super doable, so it's being done five days in a row so far. All right, so the next thing, now this here is where the resistance was real, and I can't say was completely like it's over now, but I think it's actually dissipating, and it's actually something I might even be looking forward to do that might be a stretch, but it is filing receipts. So simple. But I've never gotten in the habit of it, and it has become over the years, a source of anxiety when I leave it for too long. So let me show you what I created. This is not rocket science, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways. Where is it? Right here, okay. So, Mike and I have someone uh, professional do our taxes, of course. We don't do, our, uh, don't do it ourselves. I say of course because that would 
not be a good idea. Um, but what they actually do is they just look at our statements assuming that we have filed our receipts, okay? So they look at our, our, our business credit card statement and our business banking statement, and they just go based on that and, and create the categories. But the receipts weren't necessarily filed. So here we go, business 2019 and rocket science. <laughs> it's literally just months. So what I need to do is when the statement arrives from the bank account, I simply put the statement in here and I put all of the receipts in the appropriate month. Not, not rocket science, guys. And then I also, and I'm just gonna be real with you guys, there's also previous year's receipts that I know are floating around this house. So, business 2017 business 2018 all labeled and ready to go so now when i come across a receipt i know where to put it even though the taxes are done and up to date you never know when you might need to look back on a record and i don't know about you guys but that definitely has filled me with a lot of anxiety so any any part of your life your business that is causing you stress anxiety or there's a lot of like shoulds like you should be doing something put that on your dmo and the anxiety will just dissipate completely because you're doing a little bit each day so when it seems like it's like a sur insurmountable task and you're doing these little bits you guys it's it's game changer lifesaver frees your mind it feels so good so i'm almost done here so then on the next thing on my task list here is one newsletter or blog post or video per day. So this is one piece of additional content that's above and beyond just my Instagram post. So I have choices here. I could do a newsletter, I could do a blog post, or I could do a Facebook Live or some kind of live video like this. So today this would be my additional piece of content, okay? Next thing is one thank you card or text per day, okay? so. Um, you know, oftentimes when I'm going to bed at night, I'm just like, you know, thinking how well, like grateful I am for certain people in my life, but I don't always communicate that to them in like words, like in written words. So I've made that part of my DMO too. I have like a stack of thank you cards now right next to my vision book. And I've been sending out a thank you card each day or a thank you text. And actually uh, most days it's been more than one. And it's, it's felt so, so good. So I've made that part of my DMO. And then the last thing, the last task on my, my uh, DMO, my daily method of operations, things I do every single day, I'm five days in you guys, is to read uh, two pages or listen to two minutes of Think and Grow Rich. Again, simple, two pages? Like it seems like really like what's the point? Well, guess what? If I haven't read this book in like months or years, I'm going to get further in the book if I'm even doing two pages a day. And I'm doing, I'm also multitasking, giving myself the option, like when I was in the bath today, I just listened to Think and Grow Rich. So I'm listening to it as well. And it's, that this is like, if you guys like think you know the book, um, I think it's easy to think you know the book, but it's like, there's just so much wisdom in this book that is above and beyond actual money that I really recommend studying this uh, for life. Like study it for life, it's just, it, it makes you so rich in every aspect of your life. And I feel like I've, I've been reading this off and on for a decade and I feel like I've only scratched the surface of really totally, totally living every aspect of it. So that's why I'm studying it. So I'm super motivated by what I've created here, guys. If you want a version of this that you can edit for yourself, let me know. Maybe I'll create that as a freebie for you guys. Um, so I'm coloring, coloring in each day, which, you know, it's it just, it's very motivating. Um, so I'm excited to color in day six. And the thing is, if you fall off track and like you miss one of the tasks, you can just you can just do two of that the next day, right? That's not ideal, but we have to also give ourselves a little bit of wiggle room, you know, for things that can happen. But I'm just excited to see where I'm going to be in in 30 days. So I wanted to share this with you, and and again, I wanted to wait until I was a few days in to really to be you know walking the talk. So let me know if this is helpful, you guys. I'm so excited about this system for myself, and I hope it was helpful to you. Have a beautiful day. Bye, guys.